Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave from Chase the Summit and today we're gonna talk earbuds. Specifically earbuds that cost under a hundred bucks and are aimed towards the fitness and running crowd. I've literally got, I think, 30 pairs of True Wireless earbuds on my desk right now. And basically I've been telling myself I'm only gonna feature them in videos if I find them particularly interesting. So in this video, I just wanted to share seven of my favorite earbuds for running that are all under a hundred bucks and some of the features that set them apart from each other. Before we get into it, make sure you give me a thumbs up down below if you thought this was a helpful video and consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all my future content. I also want to let you know that all these companies sent these out for review. I did not pay for any of these items, but this is not a sponsored video and I'm allowed to give you my honest and unbiased opinion about all these earbuds. These are the earbuds here and I'll be going through them one by one and giving you kind of overview of each one in particular. I'm not going to deep dive on all of the specs. We're just going to look at them from kind of a high level. Otherwise, this video would be an hour long and I don't think you'll want to watch that. All right, so I've got these ordered by price right now. On the left side of the screen is the most expensive earbuds in this setup. And then on the right is the cheapest and everything in between kind of falls where it is. So on the left here, we've got the JB's Firefly 2. We've got the Pamu Quiet. We've got the Soundcore Spirit X2, the Soundcore Spirit Dot 2, the Feel T1Xs. We've got the Empow M30s and finally the Tribit Flybuds 3. All right, first off, let's talk about the Pamu Quiet earbuds. I received these a couple of weeks ago and I've been testing them out pretty heavily. These look a lot like the Apple AirPods Pro in design. They've got that stem that comes out of them right there, but they are pretty minimalistic and they are black, so they do kind of blend in a little bit more than the white AirPods do. They fit in your ear pretty snugly. They've got uh, various sets of tips that come with them to really customize that fit. These don't fit like AirPods though. These actually fit with the silicone tip making the seal rather than kind of resting in the, your ear so they're in there pretty securely and they don't fall out when I run. What makes these things unique is that they actually have active noise cancellation and these are the only earbuds in this lineup that have ANC or active noise cancellation. What's interesting is this case uh, it's kind of a clamshell design and it kind of reminds me of like a like a old watch or something with that lid that pops open. It's actually a pretty cool design I don't mind it. Uh, what is cool is this is a wireless charging capable case not a lot of earbuds do that and especially at this price point, that's really nice to see. The other cool thing about this case is this ring around the top here is actually an LED and it, is, it indicates your charge status while you're charging it and it glows up in this like really cool blue color. These earbuds are water resistant. I think they're IPX4, so they're not like at the same level as some of these other earbuds in terms of water resistance, but they can handle uh, sweat or a light rain. The sound quality of the Pamu Quiet earbuds is actually really good. Uh, they sound great, especially with that active noise cancellation. The noise cancellation isn't super powerful Powerful. It's not like overwhelming, but it's enough to drown out like a fan in the background or an air conditioner. Or if you're on an airplane, on a flight or something, I don't know who's doing that these days, but if you were. The other cool thing about the Pamu Quiet earbuds is they actually feature a transparency mode. Again, not a lot of you other earbuds do that and transparency mode lets you hear your surroundings. You can press and hold the touch control buttons on the side and you'll hear all the sound around you. Use the microphones on the outside and plums it in to your ears so you can actually hear a car beeping or someone yelling at you, that sort of thing. That's a really nice feature to have, especially for runners. So the Pamu Quiet earbuds retail for 99 bucks right now, but you can only get them through Indiegogo. It's like a Kickstarter type thing. And at that $99 price point, you get a free case and a couple of other accessories. So it's not a bad deal. The only thing I don't love about the Pamu Quiet is the touch controls on the sides. They're a little bit finicky because the stem is so thin. It's really hard to tell where you, you need to touch to make things happen. But once you get used to it, it's really not that big of a deal. Next up, we're going to talk about the JB's Firefly 2. These are really interesting earbuds because they remind me a lot of the Jabra Elite 75 Ts, which I reviewed a few months ago. These have almost the exact same design as the Jabra's. Uh, they've got that little short stem, which features a microphone at the end, which actually gives these really good call quality, which is kind of important for some people. And another nice thing about the JB's Firefly 2 is that they actually have a tactile button rather than touch controls. I much prefer the button over the touch controls, especially running when your hands are sweaty or whatever. You don't have to worry about like if your touch is registered or not. The button is very tactile. It's clicky. Can you hear that? And what's nice about it is it's actually like a rubberized material on the top of the button. The rest of the earbud is of course plastic, but it does feel of a very high quality. The JB's Firefly 2 feature up to 10 hours of battery life with the case included, uh, which isn't a crazy amount of battery life, but I think that's enough for most people to get you through the day. And they do feature quick charge technology where only 10 minutes of charging will get you two hours of playback on the earbuds. Another nice feature about the JB's Firefly 2 is that they feature wireless charging. And again, not a lot of earbuds in this price point feature 
good wireless charging, which I really like. The Firefly 2 have a really good fit. Again, they feel a lot like the Jabra Elite 75 Ts. They aren't like super low profile. As you can see here, they're, they don't like go all the way in my ear. They do hang out a little bit, but they're still pretty small for what they are. Sound quality on these is surprisingly good for their size. I was really blown away with how good these sound. The JB's Firefly 2 retail for 99 bucks and you get a ton of features for that price. Okay, next up, we've got the Soundcore Liberty X2s. These guys are definitely on the larger side for an earbud. These are an over ear design. They have a hook to them, which some people like, some people hate. I don't mind them. It's not a bad look. They do have kind of a Star Trek vibe when you wear them, especially when you have a bald head like me. Your hair is not hiding them in any way. What makes the Soundcore Liberty X2 unique is their battery life. You get up to nine hours on the earbuds themselves in one continuous listen, and then an additional 36 hours in the case. So that should be more than enough for most people. They also sound really good, but they don't have a tight seal like a lot of my other earbuds, which is a good and bad thing. It means you can hear a little bit more of what's going on around you. As a runner, that is important, but because the seal isn't super tight, you're not gonna get that super deep bass that you get from some other earbuds. That's purely with my ears. I know everyone's ears are different. That's just how it feels for me. Now, even though this case is really large, there is no wireless charging on these. It does have USB type C and there is a nice uh, rubber seal on the door for the, the USB type C charging port. The Spirit X2s are also IP68 waterproof rated, which is pretty high up there. It means you can wear them in the rain, you can sweat heavily with them and not have to worry too much about it. You can't go swimming with them. They're not at that level, but they are pretty waterproof and dust resistant. That ear hook design is really unique. It does keep them really secure on your ear. It's basically impossible to have these fall off. Here you go, a little shake test. Oh, this one actually popped off a little bit. The other nice thing about these Spirit X2 earbuds is that they do have tactile buttons on them. However, the buttons are super tiny and they're a little hard to get to. The Soundcore Liberty X2s are currently $79, so that's actually a pretty good deal for what these are and the battery life you get with these. Next up, we've got the Soundcore Liberty Dot 2, and these are for the people who think that this case is just too big because the Dot 2's case is much smaller. Let's compare them here. These are much different sized. So the Soundcore Liberty Dot 2's are very small earbuds and they're super compact. I really like this case design because it's got this little slidey door mechanism here and it feels really well built. Um, the only thing is it's just super small. Like you can stick these in your pocket and it feels like you got a pack of gum in there or something. These are not the over ear type like the X2s. These are in ear. What I like about these is they have this little wing tip on them. I'll show you a little bit closer. There's the wing tip there and it's actually filled with air. It's like a little spongy thing. And that little wingtip really seals up the connection between your ear and the earbud. Like I can barely hear myself talk right now. That's how good the seal is on these. So they don't have active noise cancellation, but their passive noise cancellation is very good. I can't hear anything right now. They're also super tiny. The earbuds themselves are very small. So you can see here looking straight on, on the side here, uh, they're very low profile. And I really like this look. I don't really like when things are sticking out of my ears and giving me that like Shrek head look, you know what I'm talking about. So I just got these a few days ago um, and I'm really impressed with them so far. They have great sound quality. Call quality on these isn't that great, but I think it's because the uh, microphone is kind of up here and it's not down near where my mouth is. But the sound quality is very good. Uh, one thing I don't like about them, again, they are touch controlled, which kind of drives me nuts, uh, but they do work. It's just something where if your hands are sweaty, you might have to like wipe it on your shirt before you try to start and stop your music. And that kind of annoys me. These are water resistant sweatproof, rainproof, all of that stuff. Very well built. I really like Soundcore's products. They really know what they're doing over there. In terms of battery life on the Spirit Dot 2s, you do sacrifice a little bit for their small form factor. You get five hours on the earbuds themselves and you get up to 15 hours with the case included, which is still enough for most people to get through the day. And again, you, you do have that quick charge functionality where you put them on the charger for a few minutes and you'll get a few hours of playback time. The Soundcore Liberty Dot 2s retail for $79 currently. And again, this pretty good deal for what you're getting here. All right, now we're getting into the budget realm of true wireless earbuds for running. These three earbuds are all under 50 bucks. We've got the Empow M30, we've got the Tribit Flybuds 3, and we've got the Feel T1X earbuds here. They're all very similar. In fact, I think the Tribit Flybuds 3 and the Empow M30s were made in the same factory. They are so similar looking. The earbuds themselves almost look identical. Like if you looked at these from afar, it would be hard to tell the difference. Really, the only difference is that the Empow M30 has a little LED ring on the outside. You can see when I touch it here, it glows. And the Tribit Flybuds 3 just have a tiny red LED that you can barely see. In terms of sound quality between the Tribit Flybuds 3 and the Empower 
Pow M30s. Uh, they're almost identical. They they actually sound really good. Both pairs of earbuds sound really, really good, especially for the price point here. So both of these pairs of earbuds, the M Pow M30s and the Tribit Flybuds 3, come in at 39 bucks on Amazon, which is just insane. These have to be the best value earbuds you can buy right now on Amazon because they sound fantastic. They're built pretty well. They're sweat and water resistant. Uh, you know, there's a lot going on here for the money. They don't stick out too far. These might actually be the smallest earbuds I have. And they've got that little wing tip that engages with your ears, so it makes it a really secure fit. What makes the Tribit Flybuds 3 stand out a little bit more than the Empow M30s is this case. This case has 100 hours of battery life built into it, which is just insane. The earbuds themselves can only give you six hours of playback, but with the case involved, you get 100 hours. I've had these for like a month, I think. I keep these next to my bed to listen to podcasts to at night, and I still haven't charged these. They've, they've been running on the same charge since I've got them. The other nice thing about this case, and it's really unique, is it's actually a USB power bank. As you can see here, you've got a USB type A connection here, and then you get a type C connection over here. The type C connection is to charge the case itself, and then the type A connection is to charge other things. So if your phone was dying, you could actually plug it into this earbuds case and charge up your phone from dead. So the only reason I'd buy the Empow M30 over the Tribit Flybuds 3 is for the size. The Empow M30 is clearly very small. However, uh, you know, in terms of the looks and the battery life functionality and all of that, for the same price, I think the Tribit Flybuds 3 are the better value here. And as a reminder, I do have a full review of the Empow M30 in a dedicated video that you can go check out up here if you're interested. All right, last up, we get the Feel T1X. These come in at 49 bucks on Amazon, and again, great deal for what you're getting here. Field T1X are a little bit different. They've got a bit of a different design here. Uh, it's still very low profile. You can see they do have a very secure fit, but it's not quite as good as the uh, Spirit Dot 2 or the Empow M30 or Tribit Flybuds 3. Those all fit up my ear a little bit better, but they, these don't feel like they're going to fall out. They're still pretty securely in there. But they are a very low profile earbud and they look good too. They have the little feel logo on the outside, but they're very, very minimalistic. Again, these are a touch enabled earbud, so you have to do the taps to make things happen. Personally prefer the buttons like I said before, but these are totally functional. What makes the Field T1X unique is they actually have a phone app, uh, which is rare at this price point. The phone app allows you to customize your EQ, you can update the firmware, you can do a variety of things, and that's just something that you don't see on lower priced earbuds like this. Again, these are dust and water resistant. They have worked well for running so far in the rain, sweating, all that stuff, no big deal. In terms of battery life, you get up to 24 hours with the case and the earbuds, so that's pretty good. Field T1X retail for 50 bucks on Amazon right now. I think that's a great deal. And they do have some unique features that are worth paying up for over like the Empow M30 or the Tribit Flybuds 3. And I actually just noticed there's a 10% off coupon on Amazon right now for these. So you can get these for about 45 bucks. Pretty good deal. All right, let's bring them all back out so we can compare sizes one more time. Again, you can see the Spirit X2s over here are much larger than the competition, but all of these other ones are pretty small and they're all very pocketable. You could toss these in your pocket without an issue unless you wear those real skinny, skinny jeans. All right, that kind of wraps it up. I just want to share my favorite running earbuds right now because I have my hands on so many of them and I thought you guys would be interested in hearing what I think about a few of them. So these are seven that I can highly recommend. So far, they've all treated me really well and they've all got unique features that set them apart a little bit. So it depends what features you find important. And again, all of our ears are different. So some of these might fit me and they might not fit you. This is just my opinion on my use so far and my experiences with these when I've been out running with. So I hope that helps some of you out there who are interested in running earbuds. If you've got questions about any of these, post a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this in the future. I think that's enough talk about earbuds today. I'll see you next time.